Hey everybody, welcome in to another episode of the Pickup Truck Monologue. I am, as always, your host, Jermaine West, and this is a part of the Simple Truth. And today on the road, on the journey of the Pickup Truck Monologue, I had to come back again and, and address this issue that we've been talking about here lately of what color was Jesus. Now, first and foremost, Pastor Dow created a whole firestorm for many people out there. And the crazy thing about it, the crazy thing about it is anyone will believe in Jesus just as long as you don't attribute what he looked like in the terms of what we know people to look like today. God forbid that you would call him black because now those perceptions that people have of black people today come into play and they're like, oh, my Lord and Savior couldn't be like that. Well, let me make a point. First and foremost, I have to make this point that you understand. Pastor Dow is not saying that Jesus was black in the sense that we're we're talking about the, the common thug that everyone wants to relate it to. Because there was a response here on YouTube that someone began to do what I knew and Pastor Dow has talked about it and many, many believers in the faith. Let me say that again. Believers in the faith knew what was going to happen. We have a lot of people out here on YouTube that call themselves black Hebrew Israelites. And because they call themselves black Hebrew Israelites and they have a lot of racist uh, uh, wording and talk. Now what everyone wants to do is they want to bring in, and because Pastor Dow created this monologue and this dialogue of what color was Jesus, now all of a sudden people want to deem Pastor Dow to be racist. That's the furthest thing from the truth. What the truth actually is, ladies and gentlemen, is that the Bible speaks clearly that God, Yah, he is a God of nations. He speaks clearly about the nation of Israel. Israel, people, is not a place as we've been conditioned to believe by what we've been told. Israel is a people. It is a people. Now, just like with any other nation, there are various hues and colors of that nation, but you have to take into consideration where this nation is. It is in North Africa. Go to, go to Google and look up where North Africa is. It's what many of you call the Middle East. And because you call it the Middle East, you take away anything that has anything to do with color. I heard people on here say, well, Jesus wasn't black, but I, I mean, he wasn't white, but yet he wasn't black. He was, uh, you know, brownish. Really? You mean to tell me you can give him color, but yet what do you call a brown man in this society that we live in? Black. But yet you, you don't want the savior to be anything close to what you know in this country to be a black man. Well, it's not the, a matter of whether he was black, brown, whatever, whatever color you want to put on him. Yes, that is true. Many people have made the point that it doesn't matter what color he was. And I, to a point, degree, agree with that perception. But when it comes down to fact, when it comes down to fact and truth, Jesus was a man of color. No matter how you wanna how you wanna shade it or how how dark or how light of color he was, he was of color. Look at me. I'm of color. I'm not black as coal, but I am still of color. And because I'm of color, in this country, I'm considered black. So if the Savior today was walking amongst us and he was this color here, question is, what would he be called? Oh, have a special guest coming in today, ladies and gentlemen. Uh... Hey, everybody. 
I guess I'd have to say that I'm from the more calm side. He gets a little riled up. But really, does it matter what color Jesus was? All that it's about is love. As long as we love each other, everything will be okay. We're all going to heaven as long as we believe in Jesus, whether he was brown, whether he was black, whether he's white, yellow, it doesn't matter. All that matters is that we love him. That guy's a little on the radical side. I just like to keep it peaceful and not too complicated. I'll let you talk back to him, but that's all for me. I like to say that I'm the calm one. And him, ooh, no. Most people out there, you're like me. Not too many are like him. See ya. Hey, thanks for stopping by. But you know what? You got to be a little bit more. You got to be a little bit more, uh, strong. That guy? Really? Guess I won't pick him up no more. Man, leave him on down the road somewhere. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that has been the uh, pickup truck monologue today with the special guest, uh, Mr. Calm, Cool, and Collected. Mr. Compromise. That's what his name is. We're going to call him Mr. Compromise. He won't call me Mr. Radical. I'm going to call him Mr. Compromise. That's been our episode for today, and just remember, it's not about what color anyone is, but it is important to understand truth, and the simple truth is that the simple things are oftentimes the most profound, but yet they're the most difficult to accept and actually do.